few countries possess folk music as rich and culturally diverse as Canada's. Traditional folk music of European origin has been present in Canada since the first French and British settlers in the 16th and 17th centuries. They fished the coastal waters and farmed the shores of what became Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and the St. Lawrence River Valley of the province of Quebec. Men of the fur trade and later the lumbering operations brought much of this folk music further west and north into the forested areas of central Canada. The mingling of some of these men with various Aboriginal tribes produced a population of non-treaty Indians known as the Métis. For instance, Pierre Falcon. I composed my most popular song after the Battle of La Grenouillère. That was when the big fur trade companies were fighting for control of the territory that we lived on for generations. We, Métis, Les Bois Brûlés, won the day. And I wrote a song telling of our victory. When I sang at the campfires, others would take up the tune. We sang while we worked. We sang as we fought to keep our land. And we sang when so much was taken from us. I wrote many songs. We made tea shared stories and news by talking and singing. We have always sung songs like this. And I think we always will. The song of which Pierre Falcon speaks is La Chanson de Grenoblier. I have it here for you now. Vous écoutez chanter une chanson de vérité. Le 19 de juin, la bande de bois brûlés sont arrivés comme des braves guerriers. En arrivant à la grenière, nous avons pris trois prisonniers. Nous avons pris trois, trois prisonniers d'Artans qui sont ici pour piller notre Débarquer, deux de nos gens se sont mis à crier. Sont mis à crier, deux de nos gens criaient voilà l'anglais qui vient nous attaquer. Le gouverneur qui se croit d'empereur, il veut agir avec rigueur. Il veut agir, le gouverneur à son malheur Agit trop de rigueur Farming the north of Ontario a large Franco-Ontarian population kept folk music of French origin alive. Populous Acadian communities in the Atlantic provinces contributed their song variants to the vast corpus of folk music of French origin centered in the province of Quebec. A rich source of Anglo-Canadian folk music can be found in the Atlantic region, especially in Newfoundland. Completing this mosaic of musical folklore is the Gaelic music of Scottish settlements, particularly in Cape Breton and the hundreds of Irish songs whose presence in eastern Canada dates from the Irish famine of the 1840s, which forced the migrations of the Irish to the North America, including the Atlantic of Canada. Here is our final song about the Irish famine. The breeze of fear reached Iron Shore early autumn 48 
nasty smell hung in the air From rotten crop was the fate The harvest was completely ruined With an end only some few days Appearing sharp from many throats Was out on rows and ways In the great famine of 48 When the death march was laid By great diggers place But they And bards are full and well A pity by the rich man's soul When lots of people gone to hell Creatures suffered from starvation Next year's ruled by pain Stay alive, they I dream grass And the only death got its great pain In the great famine of the death of Mars was played by great diggers paid but day and night the bad she cried called the young Through bubbles, I tried to reach Savior land. And overcrowded ships they sailed, the swimming coffins there end. Imagine the days of the great famine. Remember those children, men, wives, two million victims had been count. So pray for those who lost their lives. In the great famine, oh. Great. 